All right, hello. Uh, this is an explanation on some specific stuff inside of Scratch. So if we go to create, um, let's first do how do we import a drawing or a sprite from outside of Scratch. So to do that, you first have to look up a uh, image. So I'm gonna go over here where I've gotten some kitchen related uh, images of uh, pans. Now what you're looking for, you don't want that shadow there. You definitely don't want something like this with a full picture. This, will, this won't go in very well, or at least you won't be able to get rid of that background easily. If you choose one with nothing in the background, it's gonna make your life a lot easier. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one with a shadow and one without, just to show you the difference. So let's do, click on this one, and then I'm gonna right click. I'm gonna hit save image as, not save link, save image. And it's gonna save. It's gonna give me an option here. I'm gonna rename it so that I know what it is. And no shadow. And now this uh, web B file, uh, those don't always work. So um, I'm gonna try to get another one here. Let's try this one, save images. There we go. And no shadow. And let's do this one, which has a shadow in it. Save image as. Pan shadow. Go back over here to our scratch. We go to adding sprites and we're gonna choose upload this time. And uh, you see pan shadow and pan no shadow, and you don't see that webby one. The webby ones usually don't uh, upload. And okay, so now we have this one, and with that shadow, we've got a clear white background, and that gets in the way. So we wanna get rid of that. So let's go here, and now the easiest way to do this is to go to fill, and choose the fill color to be down here as no color. Then you do the fill uh, command and it'll just go and fill everything. Except if it has another color, it fills everything of one color. So it filled in all the white, but this, uh, this thing at the bottom isn't white. Actually here, let's go to the backdrops and just drop one in so it's a little bit more clear uh, what you got there. So with a shadow, this is what you end up with. Gonna go import my, oh, let's go back. Gonna go import, upload my one without a shadow and no shadow. And it starts out again with a big old block, which you don't want. We're gonna go costumes. Fill color is again, no color. You choose a fill command, click there. And now you still get a little bit of this jagged around the, the edge, but you don't have that. Now, if you want, you can go through and zoom in and clean it up with an eraser. You don't have to. It looks nicer, but nicer and required are two different things. So you can see it, it took a little bit off there. So that's how you would go and import a sprite from outside. You can still modify its size, so you can say this is 75%. Uh, that's still too big, let's go 25%. There you go, now it's a cat-sized pan. And it, of course, if you wanna get rid of the cat, you just click on the cat and hit the X, gets rid of the cat. So now I just got two pans. One giant with a shadow and one uh, small. Actually here, I'll go and show you what happens if we instead choose one and you say, oh, I, I, I wanted to cook uh, seared salmon. So I'll just, I'll just choose this one that already has seared salmon in it. 
save image as. And let's go back, import, import sprite. And there it is, huge. Um, and if I try to fill in here, it doesn't work because it only does it for one color and it's a whole bunch of different colors. So it doesn't know where to fill. So this one you'd have to go through and carefully erase everything and it is a giant pain. It usually ends up looking real messy when you're done. So don't have, don't have a background already in there or else you're gonna spend a huge amount of time erasing things and it won't even look good when you're done. So pick, pick your stuff from the outside without shadows. And yeah, there it is, all nice and ugly. Ooh. I'm just gonna stop there. That, make this one 22. Make them all 25%. So yeah, which one looks the best between these? Yeah, it's, it's this guy. It's the one that started with no shadow. Um, so start out with ones without a shadow or any backdrop in them. Important that way, you go to costumes, choose a fill color of no color, choose the fill, and click on the white to get rid of the backdrop. 